Hey everyone, it's Paddy from Smarter here and today I'm going to talk to you about how to DIY your own air purifier. So let's jump straight in and the first thing you're going to need to do is to find yourself a fan. Here I've got three different fans and I'll take you through each one uh, in turn to explain some of the differences and the benefits of each. So at the back here we have what's called a box fan. So this kind of fan is really, really suitable if you're in the US or Canada because these fans are really cheap. You can pick them up for $20, $30. And what's great is they have a very, very large surface area here at the front and it's flat. So flat is one of the key things you'll be looking for when you wanna pick up a fan for making your own DIY air purifier. The reason being is because you'll want to fit your HEPA filter, your air filter onto the front of your fan flat without any uh, you know bulges or leaks anywhere so that the DIY air purifier is as effective as possible. So that's the box fan. Not everywhere has these kind of fans so that's why we'll want to move on to maybe these other kinds of fans. So here we have what's kind of a, a big tube fan which this kind of fan is very powerful uh, and it can blow a lot of air through so this is also a, a great option. It has a flat front here. And the third kind of fan, which is perhaps more, more commonly, commonly seen, is this kind of tabletop fan, uh, which has a grill on the front. If you see, if I turn this around here, you can probably see that the front here isn't flat. Uh, you can see there's got, kind of got this, uh, this bulge area on the front. So uh, what I'm gonna do today actually is show you how you can modify a fan if you've picked one up uh, to make the front flat. So just a brief overview of the different kinds of fans you can pick up. Some of the main things to look for is a flat front, a fan with as big an airflow as possible, as strong an airflow as possible. You also wanna make sure you pick up a fan which has some kind of shrouding at least. All these three fans do. Uh, they have some kind of uh, closed area around the fan. If you know there's kind of uh, freestand fans that, that swivel, they just have a, a metal mesh around them. They don't have anything around the edge to help the air, you know, funnel the air through the filter. So those aren't ideal. But now that we've chosen our fan, the next thing we need to do is to pick and find a filter that will fit this fan. So I've got a filter here actually that fits this fan really well. At Smarter, we provide this DIY air purifier and filter as a DIY kit. So we have a filter that fits it really well. Uh, basically, but though, if you don't, what you're looking out for is a filter that is larger than the front area of the fan. So a filter that's bigger than the size of the fan that will cover all the gaps and prevent any leakage. So you can pick up, this is a HEPA filter, which filters over 99.5% of tiny particles. You could also pick up MERV filters. They're not as effective as HEPA filters but they do do a really good job and they're really affordable and really available. You'll also need a strap or something to attach the fan to the filter. Now you could use something as crude as uh, sticky tape, which can also prevent any leakage, uh, but not quite as easy to change the filters when you want to. But there you have it. That's what you need once you've picked your fan. Now let's move on to step three, which is actually gonna be to modify our fan to make sure that the front is flat and that we can fit our filter snugly on top of the fan. Our fan here, along with two tools, we have a hacksaw, which is gonna be used for cutting off part of the fan. And we also have a set of pliers, which are, or small tweezers, which are gonna be used for also taking out one section of this fan. The first thing we need to do is take off the front cowl on this fan. So we do that just simply, just by unscrewing this section here and it comes off and this we can now discard, we don't need this. The next step is to take off this black section, this section here, which is also we don't need. That exposes inside here, if you guys can see, there is a small metal ring which is just in here. So this black ring here is what we need to now remove. We grab onto the ring and we simply just pull it away and here's that ring I was talking about just there, if you can see that. It's now possible to take the entire front of the fan. So this is, takes a little bit of work. You might want to get your fingers in here just to kind of pull it off. And there we go, we have the front off and now we're left with a pretty flat surface here on the front. So we could go ahead and we could think, oh well, we can, we can put the filter straight on, but it's still not quite flat. We've still got this section here, which uh, is sticking out. So we still need to work on taking this section, this part here, this sticking out part here, and removing this. And the way we do that is with 
the hacksaw. So what we want to try and do is we want to take this as close as possible to the fan and start cutting from there. And there we have it. So there's our fan with a flat front on there. So you can see we've cut off that part that's made the front entirely flat. We can see that if we take our HEPA filter, so here is our HEPA filter. I'll first want to take it out of its packaging. You'll probably want to do the same if you have a MERV filter or any other kind of filter. It'll probably come in some kind of packaging. And what we want to do is place this on the front of the air purifier or the fan. And you can see it's really flat on the front there now. So with that done, I will want to use my strap at this point to just fix that filter in place. So here's a strap, as I mentioned, you could also use uh, just tape or you could even use a, you know, potentially elastic band or something to connect it into place. What I'm using here is, is a simple Velcro strap, which I'm gonna put round the back of the fan, hold the filter in place, and then just tighten this Velcro strap. And there we go. That's it everyone, that really is all there is to building your own DIY air purifier. Now I am going to go one step further and to say how can you believe me that this is actually working? Or once you've made your own, how do you know if it's actually working? So the fourth step, if you want to go this far or if you have the, the devices to test it, you can actually test to see if your filter is working. So I've got a couple of devices here, I've got one, two and three air quality monitors. So these three devices can test the air quality in the room or the air quality in the air coming out of the filter. So I'm gonna use this one here, just because the numbers are slightly clearer on this. This is called a Dylos. Let me turn it on. And this device will tell us, I'm not sure if you guys can see here, will tell us the different sized particles. And we've got two readings, we've got very small 0.5 micron and above particles and 2.5 microns and above at particles here. So let's test and see whether or not this fan and filter is actually working. Let's turn it on and then let's hold up the filter. I'm going to move this closer to you guys so you can all see. So the air coming out of this filter is clean. If I take it away, we'll see the numbers jump straight back up. So there you have it, everyone. That's a really, really simple DIY air purifier. That's all an air purifier is. Fan and a filter, you don't need to go spending hundreds of dollars. Uh, it's a fun little project and it's great to know that you've made your own air purifier to help yourself breathe clean air. That's it from us. If you wanna know more about DIY air purifiers, about how we tested these things, about the monitors, the particle counters that I've, I've shown you guys, all of this, check out the link to our blog, our clean air blog, uh, but in the description below. Other than that, everyone, breathe safe.